Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is college algebra word problems. This is part four of the series, and we have six more examples for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number 25 asks you to predict an outcome given a linear equation. It says the population of dogs in canine town is represented by the function p of x equals 128x plus 1,256, where x is the number of years after 2020 and p of x is the dog population. Assuming this trend continues, predict the number of dogs in canine town in the year 2032. So we're given a function p of x equals 128x plus 1,256. And it says that x is the number of years after 2020, and we want to know what's the prediction in the year 2032. So first, we have to find out how many years after 2020 is the year 2032. So we'll just subtract those two numbers and find out that the number of years is 12. That means x equals 12. So we want to find the population after 12 years, so x equals 12. We're going to substitute 12 for x in the function, and then we're just going to work it out using the order of operations. 128 times 12 is 1,536, plus the original 1,256 from the function itself. When we add those two together, we find out in the year 2032, there will be 2,792 dogs in canine town. Problem number 26 also asks you to predict an outcome given a linear equation. It says the amount of money in Cypress's savings account is represented by the function a of x equals 600 plus 75x, where x is the number of months after the initial $600 deposit, and a of x is the amount in the account. Cypress deposits $75 each month after opening the account. How much money is in the account after three years? Assume no interest on the account. So I'm, again, given a linear function, the amount after any number of months is equal to 600 plus 75x. It tells us in the problem, x is the number of months after the initial deposit, and they want to know what's going to happen after three years. Now notice, x is the number of months, and they're asking after three years. Since there's 12 months in a year, we're going to multiply 12 by 3, and find out they're really asking us what's going to happen after 36 months. So that means in our function, the amount after 36 months, so we're going to allow x to equal 36, will be equal to 600 plus 75 times what x equals, which in this case is 36. Now we're going to use the order of operations to answer the question. First, we'll multiply 75 times 36. So 600 plus 75 times 36 is 2,700. When I add 600 plus 2,700, I find out that after 36 months, there will be $3,300 in Cypress's account. Problem number 27 asks you to predict an outcome from two data points. It says the cost to build four birdhouses is $26 while the cost to build nine birdhouses is $41. Write a linear equation to describe the situation and find the cost to produce 21 birdhouses. So the function is not given to us in this problem. However, we have two pieces of information which will lead us to writing two data points. The cost to build four birdhouses, which would be the x, is $26, which would act like the y coordinate, and the second situation, x is nine birdhouses, and that cost is $41. Now that I have those two points, I can write my linear equation. The first thing I have to do is find the slope of those two. So slope is equal to the second y minus the first y over the second x minus the first x. I know that the second y is 41, 
and the first y is 26 over the second x-coordinate is 9, and the first x-coordinate is 4. So now I'll just subtract and divide. 41 minus 26 is 15, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So I know the slope in this linear equation is 3. Now I'm going to use the point-slope form in order to find my function y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So this is called the point slope form and we can pick either point to substitute in here. I'm going to choose 9 and 41. You could have chosen 4 and 26, you'll get the same answer. And then I'm going to substitute. The first y is the y coordinate. y sub 1 is the y from your point which will substitute as 41. Slope is 3, we just found that. The x is any x-coordinate, and x sub 1 is the 9 from the point that you chose. Now we're just going to clean this up. y minus 41 equals, there's a distributive property, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. Now I'll add 41 to both sides in order for it to say y equals 3x plus negative 27 plus 41 is 14. So remember, they want to find the cost to produce 21 birdhouses. Now that we have the function, we're going to say cost is equal to 3 times the number of birdhouses 21 is our x plus 14. Then we'll use the order of operations. 3 times 21 is 63. 63 plus 14, the cost to produce 21 birdhouses would be $77. Problem number 28 also asks us to predict an outcome from two data points. It says three weeks after a new Dog Park Finder app is introduced, there are 940 users. By week seven, there are 1,148 users. If the relationship is linear, predict the number of app users after 20 weeks. So we're going to follow the same process. We're given two points in this problem as well. Three weeks after the Dog Park Finder app is introduced, there's 940 users. So our X is three weeks and our Y is 940. The second point says after week seven, so X is seven and Y is 1,148. Now I'm going to go through the same process. First, I'm going to find my slope. Second y minus first y divided by second x minus first x. So my slope would be 1,148 minus 940 over seven minus three. When I subtract the top, 1148 minus 940 is 208 and seven minus three is four. When I divide those, I find out my slope is 52. Now again, I'm going to use the point slope form. y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. And again, I can choose either of the two points. This time I'm going to choose 3 and 940. So y minus my y coordinate is 940 equals my slope is 52, and my x-coordinate is 3. So now I'll simplify. y minus 940, I have a distributive property. 52 times x is 52x, and 52 times 3 is 156. Now I'll add 940 to both sides in order to get y by itself, so it says y equals and I would find out that y equals 52x plus 784. I want to be able to predict the number of app users after 20 weeks. So that means my x is going to be equal to 20. So I will substitute 20 for x, 52 times 20 plus 784. Then I'll use the order of operations. 52 times 20 is 1,040 plus 784, 
and I would find the number of app users after 20 weeks. If I add 1,040 plus 784, I will get 1,824 users. Problem number 29 deals with distance, rate, and time. It says Cypress rode her scooter to the local dog rescue. The trip took 45 minutes to arrive at the building, which is 18 miles away from her house. What was the average speed of her scooter trip? So I'm given a formula that distance equals rate multiplied by time. In this problem, I have a time of 45 minutes, and I have a distance of 18 miles, and I want to find the average speed or basically what was the rate. I notice that one of my quantities is in miles, but the other is in minutes. And so the first thing I'm going to have to do is change the minutes to hours. So 45 minutes out of a total of 60 minutes, if I do that division, I get that it's 0.75 or 3 quarters of an hour, so that I can get my answer in miles per hour. So I'm going to substitute 18 for the distance, I'm going to be solving for the rate, and my time is going to be 0.75. So 18 will equal 0.75 times r. To solve for the rate, I'll divide both sides by 0 0.75. 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.75 is 1, or as some people say, it cancels, me, cancels out, leaving me with r. And 18 divided by 0 0.75 is 24. And so that means the rate was 24 miles per hour on Cypress's drive to the dog rescue. Problem number 30 is also distance rate and time. It says water flows out of a drain pipe at a rate of 8 gallons per minute. If there has been 420 gallons drained, how long has the pipe drain been open? So this is kind of a variation on the distance equals rate times time. Distance equals rate times time. But in this case, the distance isn't something that's traveled. It's actually the amount of water that's been drained out from the drain pipe. So the distance in this case would be 420. The rate we're given at 8 gallons per minute. You can usually tell a rate in a word problem because of per. Gallons per minute tells us a rate. And we're going to solve for the time. How long has the pipe drain been open? How long is a question of time? So 420, 8 times t is 8t. I'll just divide both sides by 8 in order to get t by itself. 420 divided by 8 is 52.5, and 8 divided by 8 is 1, or as some people say, it cancels out, leaving me with the time. Since the rate was in gallons per minute, my time is going to be 52.5 minutes. So that's it. Six more examples of college algebra word problems. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up on it. We know that you can do this if you put in the time, effort, and just keep practicing. And as we say at Math Dogs, you got this.